Welcome to the show, my friends. Thank you for being with us. You know, this morning, Team New Day is going to get real with you. We hope that's okay. We're going to be honest. This is a very bittersweet week for us here at King 5. Yesterday, after the show, our team went to lunch at Doe Zone to celebrate one of our dearly beloved colleagues. Why do you ask? Well, the woman at the head of the table that you see right there and the leader of our department who oversees both New Day and Evening is Lindsay Sievercrop. She's leaving King after 12 years at the station. No! Well, she is one of only two people who are at the station who were part of the team that started New Day back in 2010. The original, the other original team member is, is right here with us as well. This is producer Susie Wiling. Uh, we couldn't do anything without her. And they both join me now for Hot Topics along with another very special person you might recognize, the one and only Yay! Margaret Yay! Larson, who launched this show. Oh, we Hi miss there. your face. Hi, Margaret. I love you guys so much. Oh, it's wow. so great to see you. I'm already teary. Hi. Are you already oh crying, Sus? Uh, yeah. Well, she just had a hot flash. She said that's the only thing I that's did. changed since 2010. <laughs> Lindsay, I had to be here today. I love you so much. You know that you, as a my colleague friend. and a friend. And I just had to be here to, to wish you well. Well, I think that we should all raise a glass. Margaret, do you have a mimosa in hand? Yes. yes. Obviously. <laughs> Same question. Here oh is goodness. to you, Lindsay. Thank you all so much. You. This all is, right. wow, this is so amazing. Uh, I don't even, I'm speechless. What a great surprise to have Margaret join us. This is so cool. The OGs. Yeah, what a Susie, ride, right? Margaret, <laughs> Lindsay. You know, 12 years ago, yeah. you think about that. It doesn't, as you get older, 12 years, does it seem like that much time? You're like, no, but you think back yeah. on when it was. Yeah. It's been a lot, Lindsay, you've had some incredible memories. I mean, some incredible memories, some, uh, <laughs> weird, funny, <laughs> uh, blooper type segments. Uh, we always like to talk about what our favorite kind of um, segments were that we produced, one of which was a, uh, a thriller dance, a zombie uh, thriller dance, if you will, and um, it was a little bit of an interesting morning because there were supposed to be like 12 dancers and mm -hmm. I think only like two showed up. Oh. And um, this is in my you know early days as a uh, green producer and I was like, I gotta prove myself, so no way. Yeah. I am not gonna let Margaret Larson go out there and yes. only have two dancers for this zombie thriller dance. It's like, oh you better go get more. I, I remember this up. phone call. I, we I shared like, a desk and I remember this phone call and she was on the phone and I remember her saying, you are not showing up with two zombies. <laughs> you will have more zombies. You will have 20 zombies. And we had I don't, we had less than an hour. I, was, by the way, I thought we had some pictures of this. Do we not have pictures? We have a picture of zombies, I think, in our uh, round of pictures with her. There's some okay. there's a, Yeah. All right, so. what about the shirt? I'm hearing in my ear that there's something about a shirt we need to know. A big red shirt. Oh my! Oh, what is this? The snuggie. Yes. The snuggie. Oh, it's a snuggie. There was a four. Yeah. It's like a four-person yeah. snuggie. Yeah. Supposed to be a couple snuggie, but or a we family know. snuggie. We our original office for New Day was down in the underbelly of the King Five building on Dexter, and it would get really cold in there. So every once in a while, you know, we just need to throw on a snuggie. Um, yeah. But but yeah, it was so fun. Just like putting this show together, launching it. I mean, it's really been like a family. And I mean, Margaret and Susie have both been there for my wedding, um, you know, both yep. of my babies. Um, now, yeah, this and all my segment, weirdness. I think Lindsay was doing something with fairy Fairies. dancing. It was a fairy fashion show. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, so. Did Margaret, Margaret, did you have to dress up like a fairy or? It doesn't appear that I was. I can't remember, <laughs> but I'm sure I had a wand because I'm a huge wand fan. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and this was probably like the best day <laughs> of my life, if not, I mean, my mm -hmm. career for sure. Yeah. Getting to meet Siesta, the sloth, and I actually did get to pet her. Aww. She was so sweet. Look at her looking into my eyes like, yeah. Mama. Lindsay's a huge <laughs> sloth lover, so this was a big day. Oh, and Gary Oldman, like getting to meet Gary Oldman, oh. like he's a hero of mine. And he was just the loveliest man. Was he? And he was just so present and so nice to everyone. Yeah. Mm. I was pretty geeked out. There's Here the, we oh, go. there's the okay. zombie there's, dance. There's, there's the zombie dance. I mean, it ended up being fine. <laughs> okay. It was Clearly. great. But it was fine. <laughs> it was yeah. a segment. And that's what we do here, you know? We, we try to bring you the best. Oh, this was a really fun one. 
Uh, getting to book Everclear was one of my favorite um, bands like growing up, listening to, and then actually getting to have them perform on the show and book them. Uh, but since I was the producer of the segment, it was up to me to make sure they had everything they needed, and they actually showed up without their guitar. Um, they knew they were supposed to bring it, but um, yeah. so I had to like run around everywhere looking for a guitar. Luckily, King Five has their own band at the time they did, right. and I was able to borrow uh, one of their guitars from from also the underbelly. Another the conversation station. I remember that you got it. <laughs> yeah, done. I was like, you showed up to a performance without yeah. a guitar. And yeah. Margaret, are Classic. you just are you just sitting there going, all right? I, you're letting you're letting them control it all. I am remembering um, just what it was like to start a show from nothing. I mean, we had never done anything like this at King, and we were, you know, just making it up as as we went along and doing the best we could. And it was such a great adventure. And even the things that went poorly became legendary. I'll yes. just I'll just mention some Vikings <laughs> with sports. <laughs> yes. Well the Viking yes. battle. Some wooden shields. Right. Um, one of my favorites. But uh, yeah, I mean it was just it was so much fun. It was so much fun. And I I am so grateful for my 10 years uh, there at New Day with Lindsay, with Susie. Susie and I have known each other for 30 years, yeah. her coming on board. Yeah. I think I keep saying 30 years, year after year. So that, now yeah. it's yeah. Or more. You know, longer. But I, I just, um, I can't emphasize enough how much of a family we have become. Oh, yeah. Things they didn't tell you, though, how much weight you would gain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's all a lot food, of eating. A lot of eating. Uh, a lot of food, food and the drinks. Yeah. yeah. But Margaret, so you did fun. not warn me about this. I don't this. know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> awful. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> but so much fun. And like Margaret said, it really is like a family. We we had some real um, faux pas at times. and we. But like she said, the, the segments that were the funniest and that we thought were so bad are the ones that we look back on and... I'll find the Viking battle pictures, I promise. I, well, so this Viking, okay, everyone wants to know what the Viking battle story is now, am I right? Lindsay? <sighs> well, I, well, I am the descendant of Vikings, so I took it upon myself, ah. I took it very seriously, and um, there was, I think there was some kind of like Viking festival going mm -hmm. on, and I was like, oh, let's do, and the show Vikings, you know, was, was a big, I love that show. Mm -hmm. I was like, let's do a Viking battle in the studio. And you know we'll have these two guys come, and they'll show us how you know Vikings fight each other with their broadswords and their shields and like shield wall and everything like that. Well, <laughs> the guys showed up. There was two of them, um, which was fine, again. Um, but uh, I was, you know, I was like, come in the full costume, full regalia, obviously. And they showed up in just street clothes. Mm -hmm. oh. And they were like, we're here. Cargo pants. And then they like. It was the saddest Viking battle I think ever. they were cardboard swords. And oh, you no. just, every time something like that happens, we laugh at it. But then Margaret is the one that would have to yeah. go out there in the middle of the battle. I remember her walking out in the middle of the battle. I'm thinking, what is she thinking? And we're, you know, we're dying. And, but it's, it's just like, <laughs> it's silence. And then there's these two guys, ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, cardboard uh. doesn't make quite the sound we no, thought it would. No, they were like oh, having to make the sound God. effects. You know, you really it's have to a think little hard to get a Viking battle going with just two Vikings. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the shield wall, that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's just the carnage is not the same, <laughs> um, especially with guys in street clothes. And occasionally I would walk out of the frame just because I needed to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of get my face back together and then get back in there and finish it up. But that one was like so bad, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had a lot of those. You had a I mean, lot of them. It's so crazy that I'm like still, have still working here. Yeah. I mean, same. I had a few good ones, but you know, you had a lot. You of had them. some great ones, <laughs> and you know, we can't control who shows up or what they come right. with at the at the morning. And I think that's kind of what builds the camaraderie is that we're all kind of thrown into the pool together, and we're not even quite sure what it is we're trying to do. Are we swimming to the other end? Are we right. trying to get out? Are we diving? What's going on? And it, um, it it's just a very special kind of fun. It yes. really is. I absolutely adore like you that. women. And by the way, you're not going anywhere because at, later in the show, we're going to go from reminiscing to a little hot topics. So I hope you're ready for that because there will even be soda served. And I guess what? Yes. Oh, we shipped Margaret some flaming hot Mountain Dew so she oh, could be part of this. She's ready as well. I'm because sorry, you know Margaret. what? Sharing is caring. <laughs> That's our motto.
And you're going to try it too, Amity. No, I'm not. <laughs> not doing it. All right. Well,